So I'm doing my lean insert this year, and I'm doing technology for my lean insert. And we were given a brief, but prior to that, I had to research different ideas. And I was looking online, looking on YouTube for different technology projects from lean insert and junior insert, but I couldn't find them any. So here's my one. I got an A in my junior insert technology. This was that project. I done my junior search in the year of 2014. As you can see, we were asked to make a model of a rocking cradle for a baby with some electronic components in it. These few pages are pretty simple and they're just your standard answer. I had my four design ideas which are Three of them were pretty absurd and very different, but one of them was what I wanted to use. This is the one I wanted to base my project off. Here is just some health and safety I found online. Now this section is pretty easy, you just gotta think of all the electronic mechanisms that you're using and put them on paper. Pretty standard, you'd find all of this in your technology room. So now we get to the interesting part where I do my actual design ideas, the drawings. This is one I was considering for a bit but I didn't have the skills needed. This is the one I decided with going. As you can see, the mechanism was pretty interesting. Not the easiest to do. And although it is brown in the picture, it's meant to be plastic. This page just talks you through why I decided to choose my project. I say I'm good at tech graphics, but this page should be not a difficult one. If you're not sure, just ask your teacher or look online. You might be noticing a team throughout. Everything is simple, but it's neat and tidy. That, that's what gets the marks in the end. Testing is the only part that I found difficult. That's because my project didn't really have any faults at the start. But then when I got deeper into it, I started just noting down everything I found wrong. So that was probably the boring part done. Now let's get onto my project. So it's made up of two pieces of red acrylic. It was really hard to cut in these. I had to make a square about this big. Then I cut a lot of incisions along the sides. Then I used a scroll saw to gently work the angle. It, they took a lot of filing as well, but I mean, I think it w was worth it. Now the middle piece. The piece that's connecting the two red sides and gonna host the baby bed is made of one piece of black acrylic. This is pretty easy, I just needed to bend it once here and once on this side and it was perfect. Now the bottom is where things get interesting. I took the liberty of taking off the bottom cap housing battery and electronics. I'll show you what's inside. In my opinion this is a very interesting setup and not common to most. So right here is a variable resistor. This controls the speed that the cradle is rocking. To that, I have the battery clip connected. That's standard 9 volt battery. I have a toggle switch going forward, off, backwards. Everything is connected to the copper strip board which is screwed on to some plastic to keep it in shape and the wires from being torn apart. Now oh, this is the interesting part. I started with a thin piece of acrylic. I bent this at a 90 degree angle to house the motor. Connected through double sided sticky stuff, a motor housing unit and the motor. To this I added a cam. When I made it three years ago, all of this was really really tight and secure. It's kind of lost its stickiness over the time. This side I have a mechanism that I came up with myself. So 
So this is another 90 degree bent piece of plastic. To that I have a bolt attached, one straight piece of plastic, another straight piece of plastic attached at a 90 degree angle through another bolt. I have a bit of um, plastic bent over that to make the surface area a tiny bit bigger. And on the other side I have some where the cam can balance on. So I'll show you how it works. Now let's flip it upside down. Honestly, I didn't find the brief for this year so hard. The hardest part of it all was actually coming up with a unique idea. One that hasn't been done and overdone a lot. So that's why I chose this shape, because I don't think that anybody else did it.